The month of May is National Water Safety Month. My friends at Speedo and I are doing our best to highlight the importance of water safety and learning to swim. Today, I'm gonna share some fun stories about that stuff. We took Axel out on the water a couple days ago for the very first time he'd never been on a boat before. This thing is adorable, Speedo's infant personal flotation device. This thing is US Coast Guard approved. It's got a special neck pillow for infant head support. And obviously, most importantly, regardless of whether your kid is wearing a flotation device or not, you should always keep your eye on them. Now that it's warming up, we're gonna be going out an awful lot. I tell you what, I am ready for summer, guys. I am pumped. I've got my new trunks on, my solid volley. Look at these things. It's got built-in UPF 50 plus. It's made with really high quality eco fabric and I've got my favorite flops on. I've also got my short sleeve swim tee which also has built-in UPF 50 plus for when it's really sunny outside. This is definitely what I'm gonna go fishing in. Now here in the United States, drowning is the second largest cause of unintentional death for children under the age of 14. I've gotta be honest with you, as a parent that scares the living crap out of me. Now to be honest with you, I had never really thought a whole lot about learning to swim and water safety until recently because you know, being in the swim world, being a swimmer, it's just something that was just a given. I just always knew how to swim, and I, I never really thought too much about it until I had kids, until I had Axel and Kato. Just the thought of them not being safe around water, any bodies of water, whether it's a lake or a pool or whatever, it just, it, it terrifies me. You know, I was talking to my mom about this just a little while ago, and she told me a wild story. The whole reason that I got into swimming, that my mom put me in swim lessons and put me on a swim team, was because as an adult with children, my mom didn't know how to swim. When I learned that, it just, like it blew my mind, like it was, that was crazy. Like she raised two amazing swimmers, like me being an Olympic gold medalist and my sister Katie being an Olympic trials qualifier and an incredible division one swimmer. But my mom, it was just out of sheer fear that she was like, put, put me in lessons, you know? And, and she did eventually learn how to swim as an adult. And you know, I, I hadn't really thought a whole lot about what that process would be like. Everyone should learn how to swim. It's a life saving skill. It gives you a peace of mind. It's comfort. It's just, it's just the smart thing to do. And when I talked to my mom about what that was like, you know, she just started small. She just got in a small pool, hung on the edge and would let go and try to tread water and then grab back onto the wall. And that was her process for a few weeks. It's just getting comfortable, holding yourself up on the water and just not sinking, right? Like, I'm not an expert in teaching someone who knows nothing about swimming how to swim, right? That's not my wheelhouse. My wheelhouse is high level technical proficiency for people who already know how to swim. But the process of learning how to swim, starting at ground zero, especially for an adult, that seems really challenging. And picking my mom's brain about it, the most important thing that she said and that I learned was the first step is being comfortable just treading water, right? So holding on to the side of the pool, letting go and keeping yourself afloat and then grabbing back on. That was her advice to me and that's that's how she started. It's just learning to, to use your arms, use your legs and tread water. As a young adult, I have given a number of swim lessons to younger kids that have a little bit of a swing background and the biggest thing that I did with them, and once again, I'm not an expert on teaching novices how to swim, but one thing I did with them is using a kickboard. Like if I had to pick one thing that is beneficial in teaching kids how to swim, like that I'm using with Axel in my endless pool, is having something to hold on to and then put your face in the water and then just be comfortable floating, right? You're not necessarily floating by yourself, but you're floating on the kickboard, just arms outstretched like this, putting your head down and just like learning to kick. And that's kind of what I did with, you know, the six, seven, eight year olds that I did swim lessons with for, for quite a while. Like when I was in college, I was broke. I had zero monies. I know what it's like to have no money in your bank account for very, very long periods of time. And the way that I made money was I gave swim lessons and I washed cars and detailed motorcycles. That's basically what paid for everything when I was in school. And then even a few years as a professional, when I became a professional swimmer, it basically took me two years where I was actually making money as a swimmer, where I was getting sponsors, where I was making enough prize money, where I was getting funding funding from the United States Olympic Committee, all that stuff, like that took time. So giving swim lessons, I mean, that was, that was a big part of me just being able to continue my journey 
to trying and becoming an Olympic swimmer. You know what I mean? When I learned that May is National Water Safety Month and decided that that's something that I was gonna talk about for one of these videos, I reached out to my friend Tim and he got into swimming because he almost drowned. He slipped into a pool when he was like seven years old and nearly drowned, like he almost died. And that was obviously a transformative experience for him and for anybody that would be in a position like that. And that's why he got into swimming and he went on to be an amazing division one swimmer. So everyone has a different reason for learning how to swim, why you swim, how far you may go in the swimming world if you take that path, whatever. But after talking with Tim and hearing about that experience, circling back to the importance of learning how to swim and preventing drowning, as a dad, I can't think of something for me that would be a more important skill to learn, especially young. But if you didn't learn young, you should learn wherever you're at in your life. And that's also really all I want for anybody else who watches these videos, right? This swimming community. Obviously, a lot of us are already really invested in the swimming world, or some of you all are just recreational swimmers, whatever that is. But I just really wanted to highlight me, along with my friends at Speedo, to highlight the importance of learning how to swim because it really is a life-saving skill. It really is important and it can really change somebody's life. Whether you go on to be a great collegiate athlete, an Olympic swimmer, or you're just a fun casual rec swimmer, whatever, just having that set of skills is a necessity. If somebody watching this video or any of my other swimming related videos decides I'm gonna improve my swimming skills or better yet, I'm gonna learn how to swim. Like I'm gonna get invested in this. This is something that I need to know how to do then that's a huge win for me. Then I can sleep well at night knowing that I have made a positive impact on somebody out there. That's incredibly rewarding for me. When I get messages and emails from viewers, a lot of times from parents talking about how their kids are way more into swimming or they wanna get better at swimming or they just learn to swim, all those things, like that is the best thing that I could possibly get out of this kind of content, out of this kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm very, very grateful and I feel extraordinarily lucky that I'm in this position to, to do this kind of stuff, you know? Because it is a lot of fun. This month of May, please follow in my and Speedo's footsteps by making a positive impact on somebody else out there. Help us spread the word about the importance of water safety and learning how to swim. Talk to a friend, reach out to a family member. It doesn't matter what age. For all your swimwear needs, head to us.speedo.com and help the next generation of children of all ages achieve what we're all capable of, and that's how to swim. That's it for me, everybody. Go ahead and use that link in the description below if you're interested. And until my next video, I will see you all later.